the motive of the heart we need to address the motives of the heart in order for salvation to be functional effective and results bearing the motive of a man's heart is to be examined. Most of us Christians we have learned the trail of the word of God. But because our hearts have not desired the Lord because of love with pure motive we still continue to miss his grace. We have done all our Christian duties. We have sought the Lord. We have fasted. We have prayed. We have even recited his word in our heart. But because the motives by which we seek him or we do things for him is not because of pure love we have failed to contact its power if we are to work with God successfully in a way that it is rewarding mankind must pay attention more to their hearts than to their activity in the house of God. We have failed to fashion a relationship. We have failed to work with God to hear from Him because they what? There is a constant opposition working against that which God wants. What we are carrying between our chest has become what? Our adversary. I ask the Lord, why would you still continue to accept David over Saul? Why Saul have not committed murder? The Lord said to, him, to me, the heart of David was forever hungry to love me for me not because he want to gain the curse of this generation is because we seek God because we want to benefit we read the word of God with the wrong motive to master the word of God so that we can support our position of wrongdoing David continue to drink from father even after adultery fornication and murder because the heart of David was pure the reason why David went to seek the face of God went to pray and fast was because David loved God without any motive while Saul was seeking the face of God because he wanted one or two things unfortunately most of us in the secular church we possess the heart of Saul we have went out seeking the face of God not because we are in love or we want to know God but we want to use God in time of rainy season we want Jesus to support us to fight for us to annihilate our enemies not because we have loved him hence when you look among men no one can produce God we talk about him we write about him we even write history about him Jesus but we do not know him for ourselves there's no fellowship it's possible for a man to fellowship with the Bible where S God is not part of the activity it is possible for a man to talk in the name of Jesus and write about it accurately 
affirmatively when God does not support the struggles. The fact that we are in fasting in his name, the fact that we are professing preaching his name with power does not mean that God is supporting our position. We cannot carry God alone until our hearts have wanted him without motive. Tell your neighbor, we cannot carry God alone in our position until we have desired him without motive. If mankind does not repent from this cash, they will remain with the letter. The spirit they will never contact. Tell your neighbor, if mankind does not repent from this culture, they will remain with the letter but not the spirit those who are not carrying the load with God have went ahead to testify in his name but God was not part of the activity everyone who has a mouth to speak a brain to function can do prayer but not everyone can pray along with God we who are born of God who have received salvation of the Holy Spirit we do not pray in isolation our prayer has what? cooperation every word that comes from our mouth we are carrying the load with God that's why we always receive answers if you meet anyone who say to you I've been praying for five years I've been praying for three years and I do not have answers just know they are carrying the load together if you meet any Christian that claim God have not answered prayer, they are confessing their weakness. What is their weakness? I am carrying the Lord together. I am not a partner of God. The instant you pray as a believer, the instant you hear from above, he always answers prayer of his believers. If he does not speak directly to your heart, he will visit you in the dream. God is never silent to those who seek him without a motive. This generation have went seeking God because of what? Material wealth. Because of fame. Because of popularity. The motive is broken. The prayer cannot reach God. Is too paralyzed. Tell the neighbor. Any prayer that has a motive is too paralyzed to reach God. Now many people they will come to learn that it is not the content of our prayer that made Jesus to pay attention but it is the positioning of the heart. Tell the neighbor it is not the content of prayer that made Jesus to pay attention. It is what? Who is caring? the prayer with you it is all about relationship David possessed what many Christians do not possess what is it? pure love for God everyone in their prayer closet is forever asking of God who is giving to God. The principles of the kingdom known by sons and daughters is to give not to receive. Any person that 
Satan is more concerned about what they get than what they give. You must know they are confessing their weakness. I am not linked to a God. What is it that makes you great as a Christian, as a human being, when you are always in a position that is similar to that of God? What is the similar position of that of God, of giving? When you enter into your prayer closet as a son, it's not time to ask, it's time to display your attributes before God. We are known by what we display in our prayer closet. Tell your neighbor, we are known by heaven by what we display in our prayer closet. Ask your neighbor, what do you display in your prayer closet? That which you display in your prayer closet will determine the depth of your reward before God. Yeah? It will, it will determine what? The depth. Solomon, Solomon remain supreme of all the kings of the earth. When a queen came to offer him blessing, the Bible said he offered even more than what the woman brought. That's why Solomon remained what? Great. When you enter in the prayer closet and the concern of your heart is what have I to give God? You become great. But if you approach the throne of God like a beggar, what is it that I can get from God? You continue to be an empty vessel. It's the motive of the heart that make us sons and daughters the motive of our hearts separate us from children of God it makes us sons and daughters who are sons and daughters those that can be trusted with great responsibility of the father's house but those who are continually asking they still what immature for responsibility God can trust you because you are a beggar because you seek him because you want something we need to seek God because we want to benefit him and the kingdom we need to pray to Jesus not to ask for anything but to pray to him because it is a rightful thing to do Show me a week where you prayed the whole week and you never asked anything from God. Those who ask less receive more from God. He asked Solomon, what must I do for you? Solomon said, just give me wisdom so that I can work I can lead your people. God said, because you have asked this, I will mount up upon what you have asked. He gave him more than what what you have asked because Solomon was concerned about savings. The motive of his prayer was to honor God, not necessarily to take from God. It is the motive of your heart that makes you not to receive from Jesus. Tell your neighbor, it is the motive of your heart that makes you not to receive. 
is the motive the prayer you are offering is right the scriptures you are quoting they are right the tone of your voice is right the positioning in prayer the prayer formation I call it is right what is it that is not right the foundation of your heart God looks at what at the motive the scripture says all will work but at the end the content of your work will be tried what is the content of your work motive the motive of David was always pure to seek God because I love him the motive of Saul was to do what to gain wealth using God as his security guard that's why when everything becomes tough, he goes looking for a prophet that he did not like. He even went to a witch because Saul was desperate. A man who has pure motive, regardless of how tough the situation can be, they are never desperate a true believer a man or a woman that has relationship with the Holy Spirit however challenging the situation may be one thing that they will never be is to be desperate Saul was desperate he went to a witch he even ate the food that the witch prepared for him what man of men is this A desperate Christian is the enemy of the cross. However, in need you may be, you must never be desperate. Many Christians, when their things are not working because they pray the faster they go looking for help elsewhere outside the kingdom look at your neighbor tell them you are one of them you know that you went to which doctor you, you tried ancestor because you prayed you fasted nothing was changing and you went what beyond the border of Christianity what is that desperate Christian what creates a desperate Christian a wrong motive of serving God many have backslidden because of this issue seeking God trying to bargain with God immediately when someone say to God do this for me and I will do that for you you must know that this one the motive is not pure he's a desperate Christian That's why prayer does not work. For prayer to work, you need to depend on prayer. And prayer must depend on you. And both of you together must depend on God. It is not the farmer it is not the seed but the one who makes it grow are you listening it's not the prayer warrior it's not the prayer itself but the one who make prayer to bless 
That's what I'm saying to you. You and prayer. You depend squarely on the one who answers prayers. And your motive must be pure for prayer to cooperate with you. Eh? Your prayer motive has gone out to challenge your truthfulness before God. Yeah. Prayer works. Why is yours not working? Ask your neighbor. Prayer works. Why is yours not working? Your heart. Some of you, you are sick. You are always failing. Nothing is working. And the problem is the witch that you are carrying in your chest. You know there's Christians who will be praying in church. And when they feel that, hey, this one prayer is their prayer is flowing. In the midst of prayer, they will become jealous that this one is praying better. You will be driving a car just because your neighbor bought a car. You will feel jealous while you have a car. What are you carrying? A witch. That's why people who cannot forgive, they never prosper in life. Unforgiveness is the greatest what? witchcraft activity under the sun. So, if there's one person you need to go after when your life is not working, it's your heart. Your heart needs to be what? To be examined. It must receive treatment. Your heart. Your heart needs what? Treatment. Treatment. Eh? God cannot even listen to the content of your prayer because there is so much murder that has taken place in your heart eh? murder is not the result that we see with our eyes but it is the process that we have harbored how many people have you killed murder does not happen when a person falls on the ground and the spirit separate from the body no. murder happens in the heart how many people have you killed? How many people have you blocked from destiny? You don't want any child in the community to do better than your children. Your children must be the only shining star in the community. If you hear that one have acquired a degree, you say, they will sit with that degree forever. You are a witch. You don't know Muti, but you are a big witch. Not knowing that the more you bewitch others, you are carrying yourself along. Every negative word that you speak against someone, you are also at the end to receive. Every beautiful word you say, every blessed word you say to someone, you are also aware at the receiving end to receive. If you say to someone, I bless you, you have included yourself in the package. But if you curse someone, you yourself, you are also there in the package. You see why you are not prospering. Why your 